please subscribe and click on the little notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. So here we are again with Dr. Joanna Puescu and I think I have aligners number nine on and she thinks I have aligners number 10. So we're gonna check that because there's a little number on it as well, right? Exactly, we can see definitely okay. the number of your aligner. So first I'm going to remove your lower aligner and I already can see up the number. Sorry. I don't know how you can film this, but here you have an N and then you have the number. So yeah. it's correct. It's a liner number 10 that you have in oh, your mouth. Okay. So, so <laughs> I must have blanked out in the middle somewhere, but I did use all of the bags. So, so this is number 10 and exactly. today we're going to change to number 11. Correct. And I'll get some new ones. Okay. Yeah. So on each aligner, you need to know that you are going to have a um, the number of your aligner and also you are going to have um, the uh, letter L for the lower arch and the upper, the U for the upper arch. So mm -hmm. here on this part you have the logo, yes. Invisalign, your personal ID number for your Invisalign account and L lower 10 number. Okay, so it was, it was trade number 10. Well, that's good because I've been thinking I've been in number nine all week. So I must have changed it because I've been so busy and not realized that I've, because I've consistently done every Tuesday, oh. I've moved to the next one. Great. Perfect. <laughs> so the good thing to know is that because the bags are sealed when you receive them and I have cut the bags, so I know I have been through every tray now, but I just obviously didn't know that. So it might be age. I don't know. <laughs> But anyway, so so I have done now 10 trays and today we're moving to tray 11. Yay! Cool. So I'm just doing one thing. I don't know if you should show this, but there is no problem because sometimes this is my kind of... I just want to be sure that the spaces are not going to... Oh, I just wanted to talk a little bit also about the packaging that it comes in. So I was always cutting this top bit and it's like a little Ziploc bag. And my orthodontist explained to me, I mean, I don't know how I didn't see this. It's actually a zipper. So I'm just going to show you, just pull it off. There you go. Cause there was some confusion about which tray set I was on. And so now this is a, a new one. So now I'm on number 13 so here are the new ones very exciting out of 44 so not even halfway there yet so I'm just gonna put them on so you always put the middle first now you know I have a problem with these teeth here and so when I put this one on it does make it quite difficult to to get on, especially the first time. Okay. It's the, it kind of gets caught around those teeth. And then I have my chewy. Mm, there. It's in, it's tight. And I always have trouble speaking at the beginning, as you know. The um, orthodontist also gave me this little contraption here. Let me see if you can see that. And if you have, I was going to tell you, you can see I don't wear nail polish because I'm too busy doing other things. Um, 
just doesn't suit me right now. If I'm going out or if it's like a holiday in the summer, I might do my fingernails. Uh, but if you are one of these people who always has their nails done and you have to take this out, so what you have to do is using your fingernail, okay? And I can tell you when you do that, I mean, I have broken a nail. So it's good to know that there is this. So all you do is you hook it. You have to find a spot that's kind of available. Hold on, I don't even know where the new spot is now. It's pretty tight. Mm. I am sorry, but I cannot get this to work. Uh-huh. Ah, oh, okay. All right, I was able to get it out. The trick is when I'm doing it with my fingernail, I'm kind of doing it between the last two teeth. With this, you have to go almost at the very back behind the last molar. Ah, yeah. uh-huh. Okay, so go right, right, right at the very back and you can get it off with this. Hold on. Just wanna get it on tight again. Because when you have the very first set of trays after you've been changing them, it's pretty tight. So, I have my number 12s that I've just brushed. I'm gonna let them dry really well and then I'm gonna put them back in the empty bag. So one of these is my new set. So here's number 12, this is 13. So when those are dry, I will put them here and you're supposed to keep all of your old ones as well. So if something happens, I can always go backwards and restart if you like. So you can catch up if you've lost any time with it. But Please keep your Invisalign in all the time. As I told you, I had coronavirus in January and I thought, what do I do if I have coronavirus? It doesn't matter, just keep it in, just do your, the same thing. You'll manage fine. You wanna make sure you keep them in because as you take them out, your teeth want to naturally move back to the position they were in before and it will take you longer to do your trays. So I'm changing every Tuesday now, which is amazing and I'm loving it. I can really see a difference on the top. The bottom I never notice, but that's the worst. I don't feel like there's any change at the bottom, but I really notice a difference here where these two teeth were recessed. So that's great and I will see you next time. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the little notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos. I have a playlist of a lot of different things, but I have one specifically for Invisalign. So if you're interested in just following what I'm doing on Invisalign, make sure you click on that. Thank you. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and click on the little notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos.